goes without saying that this year's election is unique and historic for many reasons. One being the fact that this election will be fought on the basis of the first term record of the two leading contenders, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama on the one hand, who is riding confidently on the back of his impressive and unassailable record in government. And President Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, on the other hand, who continues to live under the delusion that he will be second time lucky with lies, empty promises, and grand deception. Undoubtedly, one key issue that will inform the choice Ghanaians will make on 7 December is a subject of corruption. This is so because Ghanaians have seen the true record of the two leading contenders in this year's election relative to their commitment to fighting corruption. Unlike the 2016 general election, where President Ekufuado mounted a moral high ground of so-called incorruptibility and projected angelic piety to the Ghanaian people on the subject of corruption, his true credentials on the corruption fight have now been laid bare before the Ghanaian electorate. Today, no one is left with an iota of doubt that President Ekufuado has failed the credibility test, or if you like, the integrity test. Indeed, he and his henchmen no longer entertain any discussion whatsoever on corruption. President Ekufuado's incorruptibility tag is now a turn of ridicule, trampled upon with utter disdain by all fair-minded Ghanaians who have observed invest unfold over the past four years. Fair-minded Ghanaians who have witnessed corruption at unprecedented levels under the watch of President Ekufuado in the last four years.